All right, so welcome. This is a video about Trump and his weird relationship with his daughter Ivanka. And this is my good friend Beth. Thank you for Hello. being here. And she's going to watch the video and then we are going to have a short interview at the end. You ready? I am. I okay, am. let's do it. Let's do it. She's now helping run his campaign and introduced her father at the Republican convention. Yet at times, his fatherly praise is downright cringeworthy, like on The View in 2006. I'm afraid to ask this question, but what would you do, Playboy put Ivanka on the cover? And not this is going to be an interesting answer. <laughs> I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Stop You know it. what? You are sick! Yeah. 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 Oh, you terrible. know? Not only are there several photos of them together in positions that are not typical for a father and a daughter, but Donald Trump has also publicly spoken of her in terms that many find to be totally inappropriate. He and Ivanka appeared on The Wendy Williams Show in 2013. One otherwise innocuous question became an excruciating case study in awkwardness. When asked what she has in common with her father, Ivanka said, Either real estate or golf. When the matter was turned to him, Donald took it to an entirely different dimension. Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that to <laughs> Ivanka seemed to share the audience's bemused sense of surprise at the comment, but it wasn't the first time he went there in a TV interview with her. In 2003, it was Trump himself who brought up the subject of his then 23-year-old daughter's looks. You know who's one of the great beauties of the world, according to everybody, and I helped create her? My she daughter, is. Ivanka. Yeah. She's six feet tall. She's got the best body. Far from protecting his daughter from being talked about as a sex object, he has encouraged it multiple times. On Howard Stern's radio show in 2004, and then again in 2006. My daughter is beautiful, Ivanka. She, By the she, way, your daughter... She's beautiful. A, can I say this? A piece of ass. Yeah. No matter what I asked him, he would answer. She looks more voluptuous than she's ever. She's actually always been very voluptuous. It's she's tall. She's almost six feet tall. In May, Ivanka described herself as a feminist while defending her father on CBS after a scathing New York Times article about his alleged negative treatment of women. Is there unending commentary on the female form? No, no. I've known my father obviously my whole life and he has total respect for women. But none has received quite as much media attention as the story of Stephanie Clifford, aka Stormy Daniels. Among her many explosive revelations about her relationship with Trump, she said, "You." You are special. You remind me of my daughter. You know, uh, he's like, you're smart, beautiful, and a woman to be reckoned with. I like you. Soon after, Karen McDougall, a former Playboy bunny, told CNN she had a similar experience, claiming, He said I was beautiful like her, and, you know, you're a smart girl, and there wasn't a lot of comparing, but there was some, yeah. I heard a lot about her. Donald Trump has always been proud of his daughter. I'd call collect to his office. I was probably, you know, 10 years old. He would pick up the phone every single time and he'd put me on speakerphone. It wouldn't be a long conversation. He'd introduce me to whoever was in his office. And he was front row when Ivanka took to the catwalk during her short-lived career as a fashion model. Still, Donald Trump repeatedly points out how hot his daughter is, saying last year in a Rolling Stone article, yeah, she's really something and what a beauty that one. If I weren't happily married and, you know, her father. Donald Trump caused a stir of media backlash when stating, I would like to think my daughter Ivanka would find another career or find another company if that was the case, when asked how she would react to sexual harassment in the workplace, due to his placing blame on the victim in the hypothetical situation. Now his son Eric has gone on to say, Ivanka is a strong, powerful woman. She wouldn't allow herself to be subjected to it implying that a woman allows the occurrence of sexual harassment. Never have I been more proud to be a Trump. Never have I been more proud to be my father's son. We should note who was missing from this photo opportunity that the president did, where he came out here, he posed with the Bible. You saw the attorney general, you saw the national security advisor, you saw the defense secretary. The vice president, Mike Pence, was not here. He did not make this trip with the president. Neither did the first lady, Melania Trump. Really notable not to see either of those figures come with the president over here to this church where the basement caught on fire well, last night. Well, I also noticed presidential church. Right. I noticed Ivanka Trump was no fool, and she didn't get sucked into lining up with the president unless that happened uh, when the cameras had moved or something but from what I saw it was only Kaylee McEnany was the only woman who got dragged into that um, you know the rest was just the the defense secretary I mean again 
what a day. I don't need to model. My, my family has money and they can support me. And But I model because I love to model. And it's something that I enjoy doing. So I don't think it's fair that they made me sound greedy about it and all because I model because I love to model. And that's really all there is to it. Next up, we got a sneak peek at the clothes she'd be wearing. This is my last outfit, which is absolutely gorgeous. And all that was left was showtime. So how did it go? I think it went well, definitely. Uh, at another point in the article, Miss Universe from 1997 recalls Trump asking her if he thought his daughter Ivanka, who was 16 at the time, was quote, hot. Okay, so what did you think? Did anything stick out? Like uh, you had no idea that he had done or said or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I haven't known, I haven't seen like any of those clips. I don't watch the news like too often. Mm -hmm. um, what's just so funny is like her, like, she had no chagrin about it. She yeah, was like, yeah. oh, it's just my dad. I know. <laughs> she thinks I'm sexy. It's yeah. Like, and, it, and, like, if it happened only one time, it'd just be right. like, whatever. But, like, it <laughs> happened over and over again. Yeah, and then it's like, yeah, but he, he respects women. Yeah. And it's like, but, but does he? Yeah. Also, so do you think that what he has said would be called sexual harassment? Because it's funny, Trump himself said he hopes that if she were in a job where she was being sexually harassed, that she, she would leave. leave. <laughs> but like, yeah, you can't you, just leave your family. You though, can't Lonnie. leave your family though. Like, <laughs> but like, do do you think that this? If you would... said that in a workplace, yeah. yeah of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's barely appropriate to comment on a, on like looks in the workplace in general, much yeah. less something that's overtly sexual, like a hot piece of ass, or like, oh, what you know, if we weren't father daughter, it's just like creepy. Yeah. So I, I asked my mom this; she wouldn't answer. On a scale of one to ten, how much does Trump love and respect women? Do you think? <laughs> based on everything you know, based on that, and based on what I've heard, I mean, real solid. Three. Three? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's actually better than I was expecting. So yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I gotta assume that somewhere he's also said something appropriate about yeah, his daughter, too. Yeah, at he least. did call her smart. All right, well, so. thank you for, for, for watching and being part of this. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel and get ready for more Trump gaff videos. I'm Leo Ash. Stay angry. Da 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 we're hey live. Guys, I, I have to look. I just I have to bust it open on this channel. Yeah, this is actually how CNN works. CNN. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. Oh. Now so, this is so, investigative reporting. So can you trust anything this man says? Can, I, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't even think he has a prescription. Yeah. <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs>